Hi everyone, you saw my blog post about what I'm packing for Marrakesh, but sometimes words and pictures don't do justice to the actual items that I'm taking with me. So I thought I'd make a little video for you and show you exactly what I'm packing for Morocco. Now Morocco, by all intents and purposes, is the tip of Africa. It's pretty progressive. You see all kinds of outfits on influencers there. But by and large, I've been there before in 2012. It's still a conservative country. And for me personally, as a New Yorker, I don't like to stick out when I'm traveling to places. I prefer to blend in. Um, and so in, spirit, in that spirit, I wanted to share some of the things that I am packing for Marrakesh in about 22 days. Okay, so I always say as I'm getting older, I am channeling my inner muse who is Carolina Herrera. So in that spirit, I've got this uh, linen top because it's gonna be about 99 degrees when we're there. And I've got this beautiful sort of A-line skirt from Chirag Nenani. It goes over my knees. It's got a little bit of a high waist and a top. It's also got a little petticoat that goes behind it to give it a little bit of volume. But it is that nice light Indian cotton that's made for super hot weather. Um, so this is going to be my first outfit for lunch and the carriage ride that we're taking in the evening time. I'm going to pair that with this nice little box bag that's a crossbody. It's nice because if you snap it open, I actually got this from Amazon, you snap it open, it's got a ton of room for your purse, I mean your wallet, your passport, your camera, it's pretty roomy and it's something that fits nicely with that outfit. Um, I'm gonna pair that with, because of course the sun is going to be really strong, uh, a hat from Kiwana. I got this years ago, it's a, it's a Panama hat, it's nice and light. The key to packing this though is to pack it upside down, stuff, in, stuff inside of it and stuff things all around it so it doesn't get squished in the suitcase. So at night when we go out, I'm gonna wear this little off the shoulder top that I got from a friend in Greece. It's beautiful and it's long sleeve, so I'm not bearing anything. I'm gonna wear this with long palazzo pants and pair that with just a cute little handbag. And then for a little Moroccan flair on the bottom, I'm gonna wear these cute little shoes that I got from Aldo. I love the tasseling because it reminds me of the country that I am in. So the next day we are gonna be going to the YSL Gardens. We're gonna be really doing a, a, a deep dive into Marrakesh, all things Marrakesh, going to the Medina, going to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum and Garden. So for that, I wanna make sure that I'm staying super light because again, it's gonna be 99 degrees in Morocco. So for that, I have decided to go with another um, skirt that was made in India. That India cotton is so great for when you are out in like ridiculous heat. It's cotton, linens, as well as uh, any natural fabrics that's gonna be the order of the day for this trip. So I got this uh, linen shirt from Shane Amat. It's actually upcycled um, linen and then it's a little bit boxy and it fits nicely and airy over this skirt that I got. That's a Mykonos blue, but I actually got it in Croatia and I had to get it shortened because it's it's a little bit too long, but that's gonna be what I wear together. Of course, pairing it with my hat so that I, you know, protect my skin always. And I'm going to also make sure that I have my little box bag with me. Then we're going to La Mamounia for a hammam experience. If any of you watched Inventing Anna, you know what I'm talking about because that particular show, you see her sort of lavishly being at this over the top place in Marrakesh. We are not staying there because it's $10,000 a night or something crazy, but we are going to the hammam there and we are going there for dinner. So the suggested dress for La Mamounia for a three course dinner is elegant. And so I'm really lucky to have this beautiful gown that was gifted to me by a designer many years ago his name is Gerard Nenani and it's a sort of Indian tie-dye um, style that he has uh, perfected and developed and so it goes all the way down to the ground but it's like a really nice swingy fabric it's a halter and I'll make sure that I bring something to cover my shoulders but that's gonna be what I wear in the evening I'm gonna pair that with like a really fun um, feather purse and uh, that'll be my outfit for the evening.
The next day is a little bit of an adventure because we are going to the Atlas Mountains to go hiking and we're also going to go to a Berber home to see what a typical Berber home is. So for that I've got some hiking clothes. Athleta is kind of my go-to when it comes to all things working out. I've got this top that's like a nice light linen but it's got a gather at the bottom. I'm going to wear these hiking shorts on the bottom and in order to make sure that I'm always being conservative I've got this um, great excursion bag from uh, Athleta that I can wear across body but it's great because it can fit my water bottle it can also fit a utility shirt nicely inside the inside of this so that I can make sure that I'm always being respectful of the culture when I'm there in the evening we are going to dinner just a little outside of the city um, at a really beautiful sort of Riyadh that's a destination outside of the city and for that um, I'm going to be wearing um, a halter top and long linen pants so I'm just going to wear, you know, something like this on top and long linen pants on the bottom, always making sure that I am covered up. And then for fun, um, since I thought this was also very Moroccan, I've got these shoes from Kurt Geiger and you notice they've got the evil eye on them. I thought that they would be kind of a fun thing to wear um, to pair with my so the next day we are heading to uh, Essaouira, which is a beach town. The last time I was in Morocco, I went for just a day, half a day, and I really wanted to spend some more time and going to the Medina and exploring this little town. So to travel, I've got this very easy breezy um, cotton dress from Kiwana. Um, it's again three quarter sleeve, keeps me comfortable, but it's also, you know, in the color scheme that I've picked for the trip, which is green, blue, and white. And it's easy to just throw on and be able to be in a car for a, for a couple hours. And then once we get to Essaouira, we are going to be at dinner at a place called Ir Blu, and that is the hotel that we're going to be staying at, which is really beautiful. So for that, I have this fun skirt that I got from Milan. And again, I'm channeling my muse, Carolina Herrera. I'm gonna pair this with a linen black shirt, similar to the one that you saw on the first day. Um, it's at the cleaners right now, which is why I can't show it to you. We are gonna be horseback riding in the evening time, so I'm actually gonna pair it with these, with this shirt from AG Jeans and wear it with these Athleta pants. These joggers are great, not only for travel, but for athletic things like camelback riding and horseback riding that we're gonna be doing. They're a little bit gathered at the bottom, but they're super light, super light, so it's you know not gonna be too stuffy when we are out in 90 degree weather, but it is going to be substantial enough that I feel like I can be on the back of a horse or on the back of a <laughs> camel. And then there's always like, what am I wearing on the plane ride back? Planes are notoriously chilly, drafty. And so for that, I've got this great um, sweatshirt that I just got from Banana Republic Factory. It's like nice and comfy, but not sloppy. I can still feel like I'm doing pretty well when I'm on the, on the plane. And then I'm gonna pair that with these nice pants again. Awesome. So that is my haul for what I'm bringing to Marrakesh. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. I'm sure there's some outfits that I'm sure there's some outfits that I left behind, but that is the majority of the things I'm going to wear. It gives you a nice smattering of the things that I'll be wearing when I'm on the trip.